Hi there, Doug Stimuli with IT Creations with another Dell server review. Today we'll be looking at the Dell EMC Gen 14 PowerEdge T640 Tower Server. This server is designed for small to medium-sized businesses that don't have the need or simply don't have the space for a dedicated server room. It still features all the performance and supports the same applications you would expect from a similarly outfitted rack-mounted server. Let's dive in. Some of the new and improved features when compared to the previous generation T630 include support for twice as many NVMe drives, bringing the total from 4 to 8, a dual port 10 gigabit Ethernet LAN and motherboard, improved security features with iDRAC 9.0 with lifecycle controller, including intuitive systems management with intelligent automation, and of course, Intel's new Xeon scalable processors. Depending on your needs, you can install a bronze, silver, gold, or platinum processor with up to 28 cores in a single processor configuration, or up to 56 total cores in a two processor configuration. And if you saw our last review of the T440 tower server, you know that platform only supported CPUs with up to 14 cores. More cores means more parallel processing, virtual desktops, and raw processing speed. By the way, if you're considering purchasing this system for a limited time, you can mention this video and get up to $250 off the listed price of a system valued at $2,500 or more. To see more information on this server, click this link. Continuing on. There are a few different chassis configurations to choose from depending on your workload. And workloads supported on this system include just about everything. The chassis configurations are similar to the previous generation T630 and include support for both 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch SAS, SATA and nearline SAS SSDs and HDDs. You can also load in eight NVMe SSDs in one of the configurations. Administrators can choose from two chassis configurations that support either 8 or 18 3.5 inch drives for the maximum storage capacity of 180 terabytes. There are also three different 2.5 inch chassis that feature either 16 or 32 drives. The last chassis configuration supports 16 2.5 inch drives and up to eight non-volatile drives for a total of 24 storage devices. That last one is the most flexible with support for NVMe, SSDs, and HDDs for tiered storage, but you can still mix and match HDD and SSD storage devices with the other configurations, just no NVMe. Right about now, you're probably wondering how those NVMe drives work. First, as mentioned, NVMe is only supported on the 16-bay SFF chassis configuration. The lower portion of the chassis features a bank of 16 2.5-inch SAS or SATA HDDs or SSDs. The drives have a hot plug connection to a SAS SATA backplane, and two SAS cables run from the backplane to the internal HD controller in PCIe slot 0. The upper portion can be outfitted with a drive cage in the flex bay that supports either an additional 16 2.5 inch drives or eight NVMe 2.5 inch drives. The NVMe drives connect to an NVMe backplane using a standard hot swap drive carrier and PCIe extender adapter cables run from the backplane to a PCIe bridge stand-up card. With a full complement of NVMe drives, you'll need two PCIe bridge cards that will occupy PCIe slots one and three, both of which support full height, full width by 16 cards. You'll need to install specific drivers for whatever operating system you're using, and the NVMe drives can be managed using the Open Manage Server Administrator. An optional internal dual SD module with vFlash card supports a hypervisor in either single or mirror mode for fail-safe redundancy. The card sits in a proprietary slot on the motherboard and has two SD cards on one side and the vFlash card on the other. Dell also added a few new storage controllers for the Gen 14 servers to take advantage of the enhanced performance offered by the scalable processors. In fact, the T640 also supports a dual power edge RAID controller option for double the storage throughput. But if you don't need all that, the system comes standard with an integrated S140 software RAID controller. The H730P HD RAID controller is still compatible with the new server line and is a value performance option for this system. But now you can also choose the H740P, which offers four to eight gigabytes of NV cache for improved throughput when used with SSD storage devices. On the Gen 14 version, you still get 24 memory slots total, but the T640 supports twice the memory capacity at up to three terabytes using 128 gigabyte memory modules. Depending on your choice of processor, memory, and memory configuration, the system will support transfer speeds of up to 2666 mega transfers per second. Plus, you can also install up to 12 16 gigabyte non-volatile NV DIMM single rank modules that can be paired with up to 384 gigabytes of registered DIMM modules only. Keep in mind when ordering that NVDIMM modules are not supported in a single processor configuration. As you may have noticed, support for NVDIMM modules are increasing across server families in general, and could actually be placed into the category of storage with the persistent memory capabilities offered by NAND, which requires no power to retain data. The NVDIMM modules feature a NAND component paired with DRAM memory, typical of standard memory modules. In the event of a power loss, NVDIMM N modules rely on a battery or capacitor to momentarily power the DRAM component while data is transferred to NAND. So when the power is subsequently restored and the data on the NVDIMM module is more current than the data on the HDDs or SSDs, the system will read from the NVDIMM modules rather than the drives. 
This particular chassis features an internal H330 HD RAID controller that's suitable for controlling up to 16 hard drives or 32 drives in a non-RAID format. A total of eight PCI expansion slots that support both Gen 2 and Gen 3 are active in a two-processor configuration, along with an internal slot for one of the previously mentioned PERC HD RAID controllers. In a single processor configuration, only PCIe slots 1, 2, 3, and the dedicated HD controller slot PCIe 0 are available. Network communications are handled by two 10 gigabit Ethernet ports on the back of the system, which is a massive improvement compared to the paltry 1 gigabit Ethernet ports offered on the T630. The T640 will support either four 300 watt double width or eight single width computational accelerators from either NVIDIA or AMD. An integrated Matrox G200E W3 graphics controller with 16 megabyte video frame buffer is standard equipment and supports screen resolutions of up to 1920 by 1200 pixels. Like Dell's other Gen 14 servers, the T640 features updated security with a cyber resilient architecture, including updated integrated Dell Remote Access Controller with Lifecycle Controller 9.0. A secure supply chain ensures malicious software or hardware is not introduced either through third party vendors or when traveling from the factory to the customer. Secure boot and cryptographically signed firmware also help maintain data security, preventing unauthorized changes. And once the system is ready for redeployment or retirement, data from all storage devices and system memory can be quickly and thoroughly wiped using System Erase. Of course, the same cast of characters for out-of-band management and bare metal deployment are still part of the package and include iDRAC with Lifecycle Controller and OpenManage Essentials. For more management tools, administrators can upgrade to Enterprise. Well, that's it for our review of Dell's new and improved 14th generation T640 tower server. This is an excellent platform for just about any business, and when your business grows, the T640 is highly adaptable to your changing business needs and can even be rack mounted with 5U of available space in your enclosure. Give us a thumbs up if you like this review and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications when we release a new video. If we miss something and you still have a few unanswered questions, post a comment in the section below. We'll get back to you shortly with an answer. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.